Good <laughs> God, dude. You don't like that angle? No. Well, what are we supposed to do? Put it down where it was before. What do you, oh, okay. It looks terrible. What's the matter? All right, hold on. Well, we have to get... Here it crotches our us. <laughs> Crotch shot our us. That's, now it's just hat. Crotch shot Tuesday. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> okay. All right. We're trying something here. Man. That's oh, dude, you didn't even lock the thing. You know, when it comes to tripods, Chris, you are really, really excellent at it. Oh, mercy saves. Okay. I don't understand how we went this far off the rails already. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the it's a complete and utter lack of mustache. That's what it is, sir. Is it better? Yeah. What do you got? The old man filter on this today? It's the the, the computer screen is back. You hold on, I'll fix it so you can see. There's that better? Yeah, but you still got the old man filter on. Well, guess what? No why? <laughs> hold on. Now the camera's pointing up too high. Okay. Fix it. Cause I don't. I want to get like some crotch. Too bad you didn't wear your running shorts. Little more, little more. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but nose and crotch. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Well, this chair is. Good lord. This chair is fun. Um, I want more of these shirts. Exactly. exactly like this one. I want one for every day. Okay. And and, a, and an extra one in case I get a hole in it or spill some chili on it or something. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching a Friday reveal. Chris is feeling young and spry, right? <laughs> Why are you so why are you so fussy today? <laughs> You're sitting in the hole. Look how much. Look. Well, go get a new chair. All right. Hold on. I'll 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 raise my chair up. That's re that's ridiculous. Okay. Wait. Hold on. I'm. Yeah, that's no better. So now you're on the Merv Griffith show. This. This. You know, we hardly ever do anything from this angle. There. Is that better? Does that? Is that better? Sure. All right. You don't even have a hat. Okay. Are we ready to start the show here? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, everybody. This is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching a Friday reveal. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two guitars to reveal today. And, um, uh, and one to talk about because you wanted to call this Poncho and Lefty, A Tale of Two Tellings. Yes. And we were originally going to do a video like this, and I was going to call it the curse of Leo Fender. What happens when you um, when you try to make something that it is a little bit like a Fender, but not like a Fender? And what what the curse of Leo Fender does when you do that? So, so yeah. What? Um, uh, but other than that, what's been happening today? Uh, we've been cleaning all day because we have a class starting on Monday and the shop was a mess. Yeah. And Mike Learn came by uh -huh. and Rich came by uh -huh. and the mailman came by and the FedEx guy came by, but the UPS guy didn't come by. No show. Yep. We waited and waited. That reminds me of that old joke. Mm -hmm. You ever heard this one? Hey, Corey, I, uh, um, <laughs> I had, I had myself one of them three ways last night. There was a couple of no shows, but I still had a pretty good time. <laughs> so yeah, Corey is here. He's picking up his Challenger, and you're gonna get We're to gonna see get that. To see that too, yeah. And um, I have been working with Joy on the website, and we are going to add some payment options to the. Um, now they're not up right the second, but there's a way. So you know, uh, making it easier to get stuff. So if you want to like um, pay stuff off in increments or whatever, or, or you know something like that, so watch for that. I'm pretty sure that's going to be happening 
maybe as early as this weekend. And then when the new website goes, that'll already be part of that. But yeah. It's time to guilt you into writing some copy. How, how's that going? It's time to guilt you into writing some copy too, senior. You never asked me to write copy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. Senior. No. Oh, yes, I did. No, you never oh, did. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. No. Yes. Yes, I did. Let's see how far. That really is weird, awkward. All right. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, you need to write some copy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me know what you want me to write copy on. Uh, just, you know, copy stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. It'll just mostly be movie quotes. No, I, well, yeah, I mean, it could be, it's your, it's your, your bio. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you can have yours be movie quotes if you want. Just walk away and I'll spare you lives. He's really good at that. All right, guys. So, uh, so let's let's uh, let's let's jump in with the first part of the reveal here. Everyone, right. know what everyone's what is the first part of the reveal? Let's talk about uh, Lefty here. Okay, How, how'd that be? Sure. Okay. All right. So let's tell the story of Lefty and Poncho. All right. Okay. So back in the not too distant past, Chris and I had a bunch of um, ash blanks that had something wrong with them for one 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 reason or another, and they only worked for tellies. And but I really wanted to try out Steve's new um, challenger template set, and that's kind of something that we do. The, the ash blanks that we get from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts are great for that because they're already ready to go and they're they're reasonably affordable and um, and they're machine really easy and you know all the all the stuff that's nice about ash. Anyhow, um, so I had these bodies and I really wanted to try Steve's templates, but I didn't have anything that was it was just challengers were the only ones I had right. Yeah, yeah. They, they just, for whatever reason, the only body shape you get on these two templates or on these two pieces of wood, yeah, were tellies, and one of them happened to be a, a lefty. That's right. Yeah. So we ended up making, um, we made, so we made two guitars. Um, can we can we show Poncho real quick? So we built two guitars. They both had they were they were identical. One had they each have maple tops, ash mm -hmm. backs, maple necks, and and they were. Challenger necks and challenger um control uh, pickups and everything yeah, so layout from here to here, yeah. Challenger, but from here to uh -huh. here, uh telecaster style. So these are 24 and three quarter, and yeah, they they looked really cool. Mm -hmm. So um yeah, and they charged along, plotted along. Yep. This one got whatever, sealed. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then, then tragedy struck. Then tragedy struck, and we came up with the the cute little Poncho and Lefty name. This one, the Lefty, is named Poncho. Yeah. Right. He's named the Lefty. Which wasn't confusing at all. No, it never was. The left-handed one. You mean Lefty? No. Uh, no. So, no yeah. Poncho. Yeah. yeah. So let's grab the other one, and we'll show the difference between these two. So yeah, this one got right now. This one got. Yeah. Yeah, and here's uh, Lefty. Bum, 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 bum. It's gonna be like this. These were gonna be two matching a matching set, but the curse of Leo Fender stepped in, and this one got a twist in the neck. It did so much so that you can actually you can you can really it's tell it on video. Yeah. I can see it on video. <laughs> yeah, I can too. Yeah, I pulled it off the wall. I was gonna sand it, and I pulled it off the wall, and I was walking across the room. With it like this, and for some reason, I glanced down at it and I went, "Oh no, that's no good." Yeah, no, it's it's got to just be my eyes. And I started looking at it, and then I asked Matt, and he looked at it. He's like, "Oh, oh, it sure yeah, is twisted. Sure, it sure is twisted. They sure did smoke." <laughs> and uh, that was that. And this guitar stopped at that point. Yep, yep. We thought about. We thought about hacking it in two. Irritating the entire. Uh, Irritating world, the entire world of YouTube. Instagram. And yep. cut it in half on a video. On video and called the curse of Leo Fender. What you have to do when, yeah, when you get cursed by Leo Fender. Yeah. But then we decided to make um, make a negative a positive. So this is actually going to be a paint uh, yep. uh, project. Yeah, we've learned a little bit. Uh, we taught our new guy a little bit about sanding mm -hmm. on this guitar. I wanted because at this point doesn't matter what happens to it yeah and we're going to teach a bunch of the people in the class next week the paint class how to sand and then how to paint so yeah they're, they're going to practice on this before they work on theirs yeah, they're going to learn how to do sunbursts and sand and then sunbursts on this because so this is all still wipe right? all that stuff off so how's that work chris so we'll sand it back so that it's uh ready for paint 
Uh, and then you can shoot the sunburst and then you can take some lacquer thinner or uh, the, the reducer from the base and it'll just sort of wipe off and it won't harm the, the, the SimTech. Yeah. So you can do that over and over and over again. Which I think is cool because if you're working on your guitar and you've never sprayed a sunburst before and all of a sudden, hey, spray a sunburst, you've got one chance to get it. Yeah, back. one chance. And I think if you have three chances, you might be able to do it. Even maybe two, but one. Yeah, you're not going to get the best. You're not going to get the best finish you can. But anyways, we're going to use this as a... Uh, RC, their their a guitars are going to be SimTech, but, but, uh -huh. but it would be better to, to have them work on this too. So yeah, you know, get them going. However, lefty here, which is actually a right-handed guitar, yeah. is good to go as is. Now, 11% of the people in the world will be upset because the left-handed one was the one with the twisty neck. But this one is ready to go. So, um, again, like I was telling you guys earlier, um, this has an ash back with um, uh, a and maple top and a rosewood fretboard bound with blocks and and maple neck and uh yeah this is uh, this is a merlot color and we we're calling this the the double d broham now we started looking up chris and i have this thing he says that it's pronounced one way and i say it's pronounced another. well it's pronounced many ways but none of them are your way <laughs> missed opportunity for everybody but me and cool people like Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask you this: Would you rather drive around in a brome or a broham? Well, you know, I don't know. I I think in a lot of ways I do drive around in a broham. Yeah. <laughs> the Park Avenue broham. Yeah, and the Electra broham. Oh, the Electra yeah. broham. Is uh huh. Cool. Yeah, the people that that uh, certainly the Electra mm -hmm. that that car garners a lot of uh, attention from people that yes, oh yes, it does. Think it was broham. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk about a little bit about uh, Lefty here. So um, this has the, our, our standard Challenger headstock and neck. Um, in fact, this neck was one that we built with um, with Steve's templates because all the stuff that we do now, we use Steve's stuff. We had, we custom made them. Um, regular Tele shape. This one has um, uh, the maple binding. It's got EMG with the retroactive. Retroactive. 70s, super 70s, something super like that. Super sounds of the 70s? Yeah, this is a ceramic, or this is a Alnico 5. This is a ceramic. Mm -hmm. So they, they've got a little push. They 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 sound cool. As so, yeah, so really what you're getting with the retroactive is probably that, like, what everybody did with their humbuckers back then. They were, mm -hmm. they'd leave the leave the, the PAF in the neck and then put a, a EM, or a, not an EMG, a Demonstio Super G in the back. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh -huh. But they're they're active, so they're super quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we went with our our slightly taller hip shot bridge on this one that we go with. That we, this really this is a challenger shape like a telling. Yeah, um, string through body. Um, the neck is set. Somebody was asking me. It was Relic Guitars was asking me. Can can I come to a build a classic guitar class and make a telly with a set neck? I'm like you know what, you absolutely can. By the way, this isn't just a a regular Fender neck that we set. It's it's a challenger neck. And we didn't sculpt the heel because I'm like, out of heck with it. Let's just let's just put it together and have it have it cop that flavor. Mm -hmm. But you could sculpt the heel, you could do whatever you wanted in a in a workshop. Um, yeah. But if you're used to tellies, this this will feel just like a regular tell. Oh, yeah. but it has a shorter scale. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so yeah. So what do you think about this guitar? Oh, it has a bound neck too. It has a bound neck, has a full bound body. Mm -hmm. That's actually uh, some of the maple from the top showing through. Mm -hmm. um, when we get to... finished in satin. Oh, that's right. So two questions. What do you mean it's finished in satin? And when we get to the part of the Challenger build that is the Sunday videos, are you going to show people how we do the, the, uh, the binding trick on the edge? Sure. Okay. Yeah. We can show people. So what do I mean by it's finished in satin? Yeah, explain that. Good being people. glossy, it's um, it's not completely matte. It's not completely flat. Doesn't look like uh, a cheap apartment. Uh, it's got a like little eggshell, a little bit of sheen, just a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it's got a it's it's just a little softer gloss. 
Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think this this level of sheen is really cool. Yeah, I think so too. I think it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. Uh so what do you think? Yeah. It's, on the it's uh it can be tricky. What do you mean? The the application of this can be tricky. What are some what are some pointers? Well, you can't let a bunch of dust get in it because you can't do anything to it afterwards. You can't buff it, you can't mm -hmm. uh scotch bright it, you can't do anything. It has it's you shoot it and that's that. That is that. Yep. So if you get any stray mustache hairs in it, correct. No good. Which is why I don't have a mustache anymore. It's because I want to do more things in satin. Okay, cool. Yeah. And do you think we'll do any satin on the uh, paint class? This I, week hope so. I hope yeah. so too. I think I think it's a cool it's a, finish. It's a really neat finish, and I, I really like it. And we're gonna show another uh satin guitar off here in a minute. That's right. So a durable thin finish. That Let's is a durable thin, and, and that's a slightly different technique. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get yep. a crotch in the mirror. That's, that's a fantastic idea. Do you know why this one has a mirror cover? As a matter of fact, I do know why. Uh -huh. It's because we ran out of black. Ran out of black. That's not <laughs> true. Because I think it looks cool. Well, I do too. So, yep. and I use the CNC to cut those now. Mm -hmm. and it's way easier to cut that shiny chrome shit mm -hmm. on the CNC. You can yeah. just set it in there. And there you it go. Does it, and then you take it out and slap it on. And you're like, and voila. Yeah, voila. So, guys, this guitar is actually up on the website right now um in the ready to ship section so you can buy and it's on sale mm -hmm. um you can buy it right now uh you can buy it tomorrow i mean provided it's still there you can buy it today yeah. um or you can wait until maybe we get the payment option thing set up and you can buy it then whatever you it's your choice you mm -hmm. can do that. yeah how soon before we get a, a note asking how much it's going to cost to fix uh poncho there oh we're not gonna well no we're not gonna no. but doesn't mean we're not. Why gonna, don't you fix yeah, it? Why don't you? Yeah, you know the Some problem. Kid could have enjoyed that guitar. They still can. Um, they, if they come to the paint class, they can enjoy it right they can away. Enjoy it then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We might just let that one float around and be our our test thing. Paint buddy. Yeah, paint buddy. Our. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I told Brandon. I was like, okay, now when you're standing this one, I want you to really go really hurt on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to know what it's like to do too much because yeah. you're not going to hurt it. It's the first so, one to do. Yeah, that. yeah. Rather than one of the good ones, it's yeah, for that one. It's, I like I like the notion of a paint buddy. Mm -hmm. Chris, will you be my paint buddy? No, <laughs> but I'll be your guitar building buddy. Okay, cool. All right. So, All right. um, so yeah, Lefty is available in the uh, the classic Merlot. It is the Broham edition in sateen. Yeah. I know you you're not a super huge fan of this color and this burst and this pattern and all that. I'm a super huge fan of cool. I'm a super huge fan of the color and I'm a super huge fan of the burst. Wow. I think it's super cool. I like it. I think it turned out really really good. I think it's rad. And, yeah. And uh yeah, it's it's uh although I yeah, might have seen uh, another guitar that looked almost exactly like this. Was it Mars's guitar? Uh, subconsciously into my mind. No, it wasn't. Oh, okay, because I bet you this might be too heavy for Mick Mars. I bet you he plays like super hollow. Well, I think he probably does. Things. This one's like eight and a half pounds. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, for, for a big chunk of maple on yeah. the top and all that. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. Yeah, so, I think it's yeah. Good. I I dig it. I like it a lot. I was I was a little worried about the satin thing. I was like, I don't know if it's gonna look cool or not. I like to call it satin. Satin is, is that, that okay? Satin. Oh, him satin. Yeah, yeah. Be. Uh huh. The the velour broham. Uh, yeah. How do you the pronounce it? Brom or Brom? I think broham is way yeah. cooler. So so if you look up the word, there's four other pronunciations. <laughs> None of them are broham. Oh, yeah, sure. Brom, Brom, Bro, Bro, Bro Brom, and some other one. But anyway, but not broham. Not broham. No. <laughs> I think Broham is cool. I think bro, we were, we well, were for the longest time. I, it, it's one of those. I I never really. I, <laughs> it, it always looked like Broham to me, but I I kind of knew it wasn't Broham. You so I just to, wouldn't say it. Yeah. Oh look, at, there's a Cadillac. <laughs> Cadillac. And, uh, bro yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I think I saw a car show, and somebody was talking about a Brom, and I was like, well, I don't know what a Brom is. Uh, oh, it's a Broham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are are you going to drive to Nebraska and pick up that Broham? Uh, no. Broheem? No, not for ten thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. Ninety right now. Broham. I maybe call him up though and go, "Hey, yeah, I'm interested in your Broham." Broham. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. Right there, yeah. You mean the Brom? What? Yes. I mean the Broham. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Check it out. Yeah. So this guy's ready to sell and uh, ready to ship.
Got a case part and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. So up next. Up next, what you want to do? Yeah, let's get Corey up here. Okay. I'm going to move out of the way. Nope, I'm moving out of the way. Okay. There we go. That was easy. You want to look and see if there's any questions about on the computer, Chris? Sure, because I can spin that around, can't I? Yeah, or you could just stand right there. You know? That's true, too. Hey, Corey. Hola. What's going down, man? Much. It's a good day. It is a good day. It's new guitar day. Yes. So I've released a new electric in four years. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah. So everybody, this is Corey. Uh, we've known him for a little while now, and he attended one of the workshops. Actually, you attended that workshop that was come and do whatever the heck you want. And <laughs> which you quickly squashed. Correctly said, we're not doing that one anymore. But um, yeah, but so so this is a, a challenger that you kind of custom envisioned and we custom made. So yeah. Yes. So body's black limba and neck with mm -hmm. ebony fretboard. Yep. And you did the inlays, which is super cool. Yeah, uh, you let me uh let me participate, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Um, moved the, the switch down to a little more convenient location for me. Yeah. And we put a, we put a Buffalo nickel in there. Yes. Yeah. You've got, you've got three or four of those. If you, you, cause that's kind of your, remember I was like, I was talking about something and you're like, I had these nickels that people like etch. etch. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, you mean like a hobo nickel? Cause that's what I always heard it as. And you're like, I don't know. And so we both learned a little bit about those, that art form. So are any of these etched or are they just the straight um, Just straight up. Yeah. That one looks like right. it's a skull though. I ran out of my, um, yeah, so these ones I did, I, I found these um, hobo nickel. Mm -hmm. um, I actually found that off Etsy. Uh, okay. Specialty shop. So this so that one is, is, a, is a modified one. Yeah, correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this is straight up legit one. Yeah, just standard. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was looking at uh, this project kind of started with these pickups about th these are Richard Fortas pickups. For he does pickups for somebody special. Yes. Or King um, is the main, the builder and he built them for Richard Fortas, hmm. the guitarist. And uh, so I just had them and I wanted a special guitar for them to go into. And then, so once I saw what you were doing with the challenger, I figured mm -hmm. that's the best place for him. That's a great looking chunk of wood too. Yeah, it's super beautiful and light. So I'm funny because that looks like uh, like like two pieces with the 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 wider part, and it's mm -hmm. not. It's all it's all one chunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's really neat. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we went with the hip shot string through on this guy, ebony fretboard, hip shot tuners. Um, you supplied the the pickups and everything and the and the artistic direction and we were like cool let's do it. Do you know this is the very very first body that we did with uh, the new this this is in many ways the very first of the new challengers. Even though there's um, there's been some other ones that came before, but yeah, this one was the very first one that we cut out on the um, when Steve brought over the new the new custom template set. So yeah, cool, excellent. Yeah, it's amazingly light because it's the one piece. So I didn't have you do any of the chambering, but yeah, only just barely over seven. Seven, yeah, that's that. It is it is super nice. Yeah. So you wanted kind of a a, a matte finish or like a brushed or satiny finish as well. Mm -hmm. So we actually did a durable thin finish on this, um, and it's it really turned out great. I think it, I think it's it, really awesome. it's super smooth. Mm -hmm. but like it, like sexy smooth. It's almost like an oil finish at this point, right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Excellent. Yeah. And the difference between this finish and that satin finish is this at one point was glossy, and then we kind of scuffed it back with Scotch Brite and sandpaper mm -hmm. to uh, to make it that. Yeah. Which is a little different. So it's it's kind of neat because if that gets a little shiny spot in it, like like from forearm wear or something like that, you can just take a little Scotch Brite and and literally it goes that fast and it's and it that, that down. it does yes yep and it's it's good to go so the um that's kind of almost why i i wanted this finish a little bit because yeah. like um i'll never play guitar enough that i'll get natural wear on it right but then i thought well if i had this like matte durable finish or mm -hmm. you know um then i can uh, get my wear on it by the buff marks yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Make it shiny like, yeah yeah you can like go the opposite yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Play that guitar. 
look how much I played it. It's completely shiny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's what's going on in the old comment section there? Uh, lots of people saying how how good that that looks. Brad Hutching says I met him at the Cridman party. That's right. You did. You remember Brad, don't you? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Sweet guitar, beautiful wood. Uh, love the lines with the limba. Yep. Cool. Sweet. Greg Pearl says something about how he sent a, a down payment on something in a super chat. Uh, but he didn't get a, but it doesn't show up here, but he did get a receipt. We'll look into that, Greg. Um, yeah. Something everybody should know about Super Chats is YouTube takes most of that money. Well, I don't, no, they don't, they, they take, they take, they take a, a big chunk. A pretty decent chunk. But, yeah. yeah, but if you send a down payment, I, Greg, send me an email. So yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to go get another beer. Anyone else want one? I'll get them. Oh, okay. I'll get them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so now when are you going to be rocking this first tonight? Tonight, I have to try it out. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't even heard any of it, so yeah, so that's right. You can hear like right before we went live, so we haven't even been able to plug it in and, and jam on it yet. Um, my favorite Jack, yeah, oh, yeah, I think that I think that's a classy way to do that. The electro socket, the electro sockets. Very excellent. Ah, oh, bless you, Chris. I'll let you uh, okay. finish you back. I'll trade. Ah. So it's Friday, y'all. It is Friday. What are you going to do this weekend, Chris? Bike ride or something? Uh, Yeah, I'm hoping to do some bike riding. It's going to be nice, they yep. say. Yep. Look, I can almost lift this beer up. Oh, oh, because of your injury. Yeah. You know, I we have a lot of people who are medical professionals. Maybe, maybe when they come out, they can like you know give you an adjustment. I wish it was. I, I keep thinking that something's just going to go, and I'll be like, oh, there it is. I wish we had someone come out who was a barber, because I am. Yeah, now I, you know what? Everyone, you hear that? We had one. You hear that though? That's the frantic clicking of. I'll cut your hair for you. Yeah, no, you guys get we away. We had with one. Me. We did. Yeah. Ryan's dad, Dan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why am my chair is moving? I can't. I, it keeps rolling me back into. Dang it! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna go see Jim Jam Jimmy this weekend? Um, I don't know if I'll see him this weekend for sure. Next weekend. All right. So the following weekend, because tomorrow's. This is gonna sound lame. Kind of early. Three to five. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That's Gruffy Murphy's. Ooh, you know what, though? In downtown I Denver. Do I might do that. I might make a, an afternoon of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's on Larimer, my favorite street. So, gang, if you're in the Denver area or if you know Jim Jam Jimmy, well, if you know Jim Jam Jimmy, you already know about this show. <laughs> you're already uh, required to be there. Yeah. So he's playing tomorrow at Scruffy Murphy's downtown. Um, but if you can't make it for whatever reason, because it's like in the afternoon, three to five-ish. He's playing next weekend, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So he's playing actual St. Pat's and then Friday, Saturday. And so one's at um, St. Pat's Eve. Yes. No. No. Regular St. He's playing the Boxing Day of St. Patrick's uh -huh. Day and yeah. the Wrestling Day of St. Patrick's. Okay, good. So regular St. Patrick's Day at Clancy's Irish Pub. And then Friday and Saturday, he's either, I, I'm going to get these wrong, but <clears throat> I think he's playing at Odyssey on. Saturday and this distillery on Friday that I can't remember the name, but Odyssey Beer Works, of course, one of our channel sponsors. Um, he's going to be there on Friday or Saturday. It's easy to find out. You know what I mean? You can go to the Odyssey page or you can go to the Jim Jan Jimmy page. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's going to be fun. And if you know Jim, you're going to be required to go to all four. But if you if you don't know Jim and you want to know Jim, you can go to one of them and you'll meet him and then you'll be required to go. Well, to I minutes. think I think. They're not all the exact same show. He's got, he's doing his, hmm. he's doing this, he's doing that. He's got his sax guy back. Yeah, the seven o'clock show is completely different than nine. It is, show. yeah, different show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All new show, every show. New show. Where can people get these shirts? Because like they can get one of these. They can. They can. Get and they can shirt. get one of these. They can get that shirt at Teespring. It's, it's always known as Spring. Oh, it's just Spring now. Yeah, but you can still Google Teespring and it pops right up. But in the video, it's like it's just you just click on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right down below. And I, I, you can't sort through what you want to have show up. So, like, we have coffee mugs and and COVID masks or something like that. Yeah, we got to get it's rid like, of those COVID. Masks. Yeah, you know, you do. Yeah, I was at uh, I was at Guitar Center today. 
because they had to buy strings because we ran out of strings. When you buy 25 sets of strings, do you know how many guitars you can build with 25 sets of strings? 25. No, about 23. Yeah, because they're, uh, yeah, you always lose some of them. You, well, or something happens. But anyway, all of a sudden you're out of strings, which I didn't realize. And so I had to go buy some strings at Guitar Center. And I was desperately looking for a good deal on strings. I can't see the, um, all the words from here, but it looks like Driddle just posted a thing that says, oh, kind of like Hacksaw Jim. There you go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they had COVID masks on. Some. Oh, they had guitars they in there, that COVID mask? Uh, they were just guitar uh, fabric. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, they yeah. didn't say Guitar Center on them. Nobody would buy that. Did they say Led Zeppelin or Zoso no, or no, something? No, it was just one of those standard, you know, oh, it's a Strato, it's a Les Paul, all these gotcha. all these guitars. But, but I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that was the only good thing they had in the whole, they had Christmas sweaters in, in like triple XL. They didn't have a price tag on them, which, as you know, is one of my pet peeves. So If you put a price on something, people just buy people it. They're just going to buy it. Yeah. 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 So. And no good deals on strings. Strings have gone up too. And 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 the you know the reason that you didn't go to Flipside Music, the great American it's guitar store, was right. and we just needed them right away. Yeah, yeah. And I needed like two sets. So we'll get more. So. Yeah. So we're we're gonna go to Flipside Music, the great American guitar store, to get more strings. Uh huh. So maybe we'll get like to just bring some by. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's better than? Uh... Getting new strings, getting new strings delivered by the guy that owns the shop. Corey, did you get your uh, Willie G strings from Ike at Flipside Music, the Great American Guitar Store? I sure. thought you did, yeah. So that was one of the things that uh, we forgot to mention about Corey's guitar is that we strung it with Spiderwebs. Yeah, sixes. Reverend Willie G's uh, yeah. eight to forties. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like playing Spiderwebs. I was gonna. He didn't go with the sevens. You were like, ah. okay, that was. Seven to thirty-eight, yeah. And then tune it down to full step on a twenty-four and three-quarter scale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, they say that they say that's what it does. That he does. I don't point point a full step. That's what I hear. Yeah. Maybe more. I don't know. Boy, the difference in string tension between E and D is a lot. Even just on regular strings, I can't imagine what it's like. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Excellent. Do you, is it easier to go to lighter strings and tune down or heavier strings and tune down? Me personally, I like going heavier and tuning down. Okay. Yeah. That's what a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. And, or yeah, it depends on how far you tune down too. Like it's just a half step, just run what you brung. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. If it's, if it's a whole step or, or, you know, C sharp. You get really you slinky. Then, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Drop. Yeah. Drop C. Mm -hmm. Drop. B with a rest yeah. of it, yeah. It's really fun to do that. I know we're we're not we don't talk a, a lot about acoustic guitars, mm -hmm. but it's really fun to put big strings on a on an acoustic and tune down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's tuning down it's is all just sudden, fun. I mean, yeah. It makes even the plinkiest acoustic guitar kind of boomy for for a couple of minutes Whoa. at least until you get used to it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I think Hawk Attack used to tune down a full step and I loved it. And Brett yeah. and Mike were like, no, it's too low. It's too, I'm like, yeah. oh come on. So we settled on a half a step. On a half a step. The, right. the Stevie Ray, Jimmy, uh Jimi Hendrix tuning. I think, yeah, I think Van Halen did it. I think yeah, maybe A C D C I think A C D C just tuned us. They're just guitarists yeah. most uh -huh. tune, right? That's yeah. the that's the way all those old guys did it. Yeah. 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 I'm frankly I'm shocked. That, that most records, old records, are in any kind of tune that you can understand, that you can sort of tune your guitar to, mm -hmm. you know? Because, yeah, there were no tuners. There were pitch pipes. Have we ever talked about the Robert Johnson yeah, tuning I thing? I think, but... So, so that that there, there, is some, there is some talk about whether or not the Robert Johnson recording recordings are the speed that they were supposed to be. That they in the reality speed, or if they were sped up a little sped bit, sped up just know, a tick, yeah, make it sound more jazzy. Well, yeah, so the, the songs are a little uh, they don't last quite as long as a lot of stuff that was recorded at that same time, yeah. Uh, the tunings are they're not in any anything that yeah. anybody was using, and and back then the music world was very regionalized, okay, and he played stuff that other guys played in that same region okay on the chitlin circuit or whatever. yeah whatever it was yeah yeah and on the sold your sold anyway, the devil yeah circuit. yeah so if you google or youtube um 
Robert Johnson speed or Robert Johnson. There's lots yeah. of it. Yeah. And then sometimes they take the recordings and actually slow it down to where they think it ought to be. Mm -hmm. And the songs sound the same, but still very different. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden his voice makes a little more sense and the guitar mm -hmm. makes a little more sense. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know there is allegedly like a blues trail you can like follow mm -hmm. and you can go all over the South and kind of right on those same roads or, or close to them and there's like paths and markers and stuff and you can go and see some of those the same things that those guys saw and some of the you know because like it's funny to me like you look at a black and white picture from an old picture and you go well yeah i know that it was in color but i can't like my brain can't colorize a black and white picture oh uh -huh. and go yep that's what it looked like i it's neat to it would be neat to go there and see mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same. Yeah, yeah I'm sure there'll be yeah. telephone poles and stuff, and whatever. But, but it would be cool to go see some of those old buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, and then just check it out. But I didn't. I had no idea that was a thing. And I think that there are a handful of crossroads that one of them could be the the. Yeah. You know, you don't want you don't want to tempt fate. You don't want to go there and you know start waiting around because mm -hmm. you never know what could happen. Then, especially with this happening. No. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. What do you guys think of my no mustache? You like I do. I think I think I upset you this morning. No, I, I came I, in. You and told you even told me you were going to shave it off. Really, the the deal is is you didn't. You went from from beard to mustache to no mustache to in in a week. I know. So I got yeah, I got like two and a half days of each, and, and <laughs> it was, so you came in today and was like. Oh yeah, I was gonna shave that thing off. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go with pick a facial hair mm -hmm. and go with it. For those who forgot to tell you, if you're in the Chicagoland area, I want you guys to go check out Evil Burrito tomorrow night. Yeah, they're playing the St. Patrick's Day party. Mike, I forgot what the name of the place is, but if Mike is still here, maybe he'll go. And if you guys are in the Chicago, there's a lot of people in the Chicago area. You know, they might want to go check out Evil Burrito and they'll see a double shot of TTG guitars on stage. There you go. Because the guys in Evil Burrito, there's three of them. There's three guitars between the two guitar players. We're working on five because they yeah. each ordered one of the um, P90 Challenger Juniors. Yep. So Mike's getting a TV yellow and uh, Ryan's getting a white one. He wanted a, a white. The TV cream? No, white. white. Oh, oh, yeah, solid white. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, cool. very, very excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think we could uh I think we're just about wrapped up. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. So it's time to start the weekend, guys. I hope that you are having a great weekend. If you're interested in the uh, the double D Broham in Merlot finish, that link in the description below, you can check that out. Uh, I would like to thank my good friend Corey. For coming by the shop today. I was going to say you and that. No. And and thank you as always to Chris and Ike and the gang at Flipside Music, the great American guitar star. Ooh, speaking of sponsors, I, I was like, I was sitting, I was laying in bed last night. It was like, it was early. It was like eight. And my phone started, like I do, I moved my phone out of the way. And then all of a sudden I hear, hey, Matt. And I'm like, what in the heck? And it's Dan from Tonewood Experts. Uh -huh. And I must have like pushed something on the phone and it called oh, it. Yeah. And then I called him again. I went to the gym today at like 0500. And I, I, I got my phone and I did and it happened again. And I called that. Fortunately, I went to voicemail. And so, yeah, anyway. Dan, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I butt dialed you twice or three times. I don't, I don't remember what I did. So, and uh, Odyssey Beer Works, I'm sure they're having a great big uh, St. Patrick's Day shindig this weekend. And I know they're having one next weekend with Jim Jam Jimmy. Um, uh, John and Cheryl at Bitterroot Guitars. If you enter code TXTOAST at checkout, you get 15% off. What's cooler than that? Um, Steve from Maximum Guitar Works. We are going to be having a new video this weekend. I believe it's going to be the Super Strat, building the Super Strat video, which I think is, is going to be cool. And who did I forget? I forgot somebody dylan mccurchy dylan mccurchy dylan, talks, dylan talks, to talks to him thank you chris yes dylan and his lovely wife leslie i don't know if they're doing a live thing tonight or if they're getting ready for the weekend too uh, lover boy style working for the weekend 
everybody's working for the week. Hell yeah, they are. All right, you guys, I'm going to zoom over to the camera or the computer, and I'm going to shut it off. Have a great weekend, everybody.